I haven't seen it yet, so movie date. Perfect. Okay, but Autumn is here, and studios are looking to huge stars to keep the box office bucks rolling in. Brad Pitt is unleashing his fury, and J-Law is hungry again. She's making a game of it. <laughs> and we're breaking it all down for you and our guide to the can't-miss fall movie. So, Grandpa Palmer's dead too? No, Grandpa Palmer's dead to me. It's like a figure of speech. In The Judge, Robert Downey Jr., an ethically challenged lawyer, must defend his estranged father, Robert Duvall, accused of murder. My father's a lot of unpleasant things, and murder is not one of them. It was kind of a challenging movie, but um, it was really fun. Yeah. yeah. Which is a weird thing to say about kind of a heart-wrenching yeah. family drama. But, you know, there's a lot of lightness and, and, uh, and humor in the film, too. What happened to your face? Someone's stupid. Denzel Washington is out to help Chloe Grace Moretz in The Equalizer. Buzz is already building for a possible third Oscar for Denzel. Buzz is good. You know, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't control that. Oh, we did what we can do, which is the, to try to fashion the best film we can. Channing Tatum is making a Magic Mike sequel, but now has Foxcatcher playing an Olympic champion wrestler on a downward spiral. I want to be the best in the world. In real life, he's also balancing career with fatherhood of a one-year-old. Just chase your daughter everywhere and then try to fit in phone calls in between and then prep for a film. Are you here to fight with us? I will. Can't miss sequels like The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 could be huge this fall at the box office, says fan day ghost Tara McNamara. You have Jennifer Lawrence, who's one of the biggest and most relatable movie stars out there. She won't be able to handle it. The follower. But if you like your tough guys really kicking butt, this fall belongs to Mr. Pitt and Fury. No! Brad Pitt in this role of War Daddy, this grizzled war veteran who's a little bit morally ambiguous. Put a big fat hole in his back. Another big screen tough guy. <laughs> Liam Neeson, an ex-cop who turned private eye, who's not exactly following the law to catch a killer in A Walk Among the Tombstones. It's good to get a chance to do the physical stuff, you know? His worldwide box office numbers prove he's the ultimate action star. We see him as our dad. He's sweet and warm and he'll protect us, but don't cross him. A huge trend this season, stars taking on more than one movie. Let's call him Double Dippers. Well, it's better than a lot of things I've been called. I think Reese Witherspoon should already be picking out her gown for the Oscars because she has two really strong Best Actress contender roles, either for The Good Lie or Wild. And also, she has a producing credit on Gone Girl. It's not good enough for you? Jessica Chastain has her hands full, too. She gets intergalactic in Interstellar alongside an A-list cast we love. Couldn't you have told her you were going to save the world? No. Jessica's also starring in The Disappearance of Eleanor Rigby Demp. Have mercy on me. <laughs> Jessica plays wife to James McAvoy. After a devastating tragedy, they become estranged. It's getting a ton of award buzz, which the two handle with humor. Honestly, every job I do, I select because I think it's a, it's a contender. <laughs> Including... I want to buy you a shirt that says contender. <laughs> Playing against type is a fall movie trend, like the normally charming Idris Elba, seriously scary in No Good Deed. He's an escaped murderer who tricks Taraji P. Henson into letting him into her home. Do you think I could use your phone? She reteams with her Think Like a Man producer, who really got Idris to transform. I have a bad temper. He seen that and he was like, man, we need to put this on film. He will become a monster right before my very eyes. <laughs> And all you parents with young kids, Me. <laughs> we have two more just for you. Disney's Alexander and the Terrible Horrible, horrible no, no Good, good very, very Bad, bad day. day. I've heard all about this. Very long title for a movie. <laughs> That's out October 10th. Also, Dolphin Tale 2 is in theaters on Friday. Which is also just as much for the adults, because yeah. I completely cried in the first one. I love it. Yesterday was actually the premiere, and we named their movie our pick for Family Film of the Fall.